Hello YouTube. So in this problem, we are going to solve this differential equation. It looks really, really scary. So the thing is, you have four terms in the numerator and four terms in the denominator. So whenever you have four terms, you can always think about factor by grouping. That's exactly what we're, what we're going to do in this problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to factor by grouping. So up here, looks like you can pull out an x. So we get x, parentheses, y plus 3, beautiful stuff. And then here we can pull out a negative 1. So minus 1, parentheses, y plus 3. Then on the bottom, we can do something very similar, right? We can pull out an x here. So we get x and then y minus 2. Good stuff. And then here we get plus, we can pull out a 4, and then we also get y minus 2. Right? 4y, 4y minus 8, 4y minus 8. So it looks okay, right? Let's check it. xy, xy, 3x, 3x. Negative y, negative 3, negative y, negative 3, xy, xy, 2x, 2x, 4y minus 8, 4y minus 8, good stuff. Now we can factor out a y plus 3, so we have dy dx equals, you can pull out a y plus 3, and you can put it in the front or you can put it in the back, I'll leave it in the back, so this is x minus 1, y plus 3, good stuff, and then here it's x plus 4, y minus 2. And now we can separate it, right? This is a separable differential equation, so we can separate it. So the goal is to have some stuff with x dx equal to some stuff with y dy. So the dy is here, so we only want y's over here, and we're going to multiply by d the dx to put that on this side. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to multiply by y minus 2 over y plus 3. So just imagine flipping it and putting it over here, so y minus 2 over y plus 3 dy, right, that stays there, put the dx over here by multiplying by dx, so we get x minus 1 over x plus 4 dx, okay? Then we integrate both sides. So how do you integrate this? Well, there's two ways that I know how to do it. One way is to do u substitution, way too much work. We're going to do it the way the pros do it. We're going to do it the fastest, the cheese, easiest way possible. Uh, we're just going to make it work. So. This one, let's just focus on this. I'm just going to write down the integrands. We have y minus 2 over y plus 3. It would be really, really nice if this was y plus 3 over y plus 3. So what we do is we write it down because we do whatever we want. So y plus 3, y plus 3. These are obviously not equal, right? But now it's going to cancel and give us 1. So to make this equal, you have to ask yourself, how do you get from 3 to minus 2 where you subtract 5? So boom, so you put a 5 there. So you make it what you, so you write down what you want and you fix it later, right? So we wanted a y plus 3 there, so we put it there, and then how do you get from 3 to minus 2? You subtract 5. And this becomes 1 minus 5 over y plus 3. You can do the same thing with this one, right? We have x minus 1 over x plus 4. We want this to be x plus 4 over x plus 4, so you just put it there. So x plus 4, x plus 4. And how do you get from 4 to minus 1? Same thing, you subtract 5, really beautiful. So minus 5 over x plus 4. These cancel, and so you get this. This is a reoccurring idea in mathematics, so this technique is super, super useful uh, in math. Okay, so that's what we're going to have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. I don't have an eraser, so I'll just do that. And so I'm going to rewrite these integrals. So we have the integral of what will be parentheses 1 minus 5 over y plus 3 dy equals, and over here it'll be, this one is going to be this. So it'll be 1 minus 5 over x plus 4 dx, dx. This is a piece of cake to integrate, right? This is just going to give us y. When you integrate this, you just do a u sub, right? You let u, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, it's almost not worth writing, but I'll write it. Like if you were doing this one, you would just let u be y plus 3. So du is dy, so you get 5 du, whoops, 5 over u du, so that's 5 ln absolute value of u plus c. So these integrals here, you can do them in your head. If you're watching this video, you probably can, right? So that's your u, so your du is just dy, and so you just get 5 over u, and that gives you a natural law with an absolute value. So this is going to become y minus 5 ln absolute value of y plus 3. You're supposed to add a c here, but I'm not going to, and I'll explain why. This is x minus 5 natural law absolute value x plus 4.
I'm going to add a C here. So if you add a C here and you add a C here, so say you add one here and you get C1. Then you add one here and you get C2. Well, then you subtract it. So C1 could be any number you don't know what it is. C2 is any number you don't know what it is. When you subtract them, it could still be any number, right? So only write it once. Save yourself some time. And that's an acceptable answer, I suppose. Um, the question didn't say to you know, solve for y, it just said solve the differential equation. This would be an implicit solution because it's not explicitly solved for y. So that's it. I hope this video uh, helps. That's it.